I just happened to be walking towards my front door to close it because I have the screen open when I, well, I heard a big explosion first and then kind of saw it all at the same time, if that makes sense. Uh, and it was like boom, 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 all kind of really quick like that. And then I immediately, you know, set my kids to the back of the house and came out and just saw this huge wreckage and basically um, the police who had the guns pointed at the car that was already crashed over there and just like screaming and crying and it's, it's a pretty bad scene. How many cars did they hit on the way through that were just parked here? Uh, two at least. My neighbor's cars that were parked right in front of my house. They hit the first truck that pushed the second truck that knocked through my mailbox and partially through the front of my yard all the way clear through to like the third house down. Dang, and then this one right here, is this your fence right here? This is my fence right here. And so this truck right here almost slammed right into your fence. Yeah, both of our houses, it, it almost it came, that 18 inches from crashing into both of them. Where, where was this truck parked at? Um, so this one was right there, and then the other one was right here in front of my tree. That's where they're always parked. So they parked. were just parked right here on the street? Yep. This one hit that one, and look at, I mean, the impact from like here, clear through to over there, which is, it's got to be 60, 70 feet at least. Yeah. Any injuries that you see besides the people in the vehicle? Yeah, uh, the people in the vehicle were hurt pretty badly. The driver was fine, of course, mm -hmm. you know, impaired probably. Yeah. No, no injuries from neighbors, anybody like that? You know, I think it was the timing. Right. We're just lucky because people walk her a lot in this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because I was going to walk my dog tonight, but I was like, eh, it's a little chilly outside. Yes. You know, maybe not. There's quite a few people out here, even though it's so early though, but it's a loud ruckus. So. Well, we're the neighbors. We all know each other really well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're always going to come out and make sure, you know, everything is okay. What can yeah. we do? It's that type of neighborhood. Okay. All right, any thoughts of what you thought when you seen it? It's just a shame. I mean, you could tell right away the driver was impaired, you know, screaming and carrying on, and he's not hurt at all, but the other two people in the car, I mean, it looks pretty bad. Yeah, That's just sounds sad. Like, it sounds like there was a total of four in the car. Yeah, so, and but. yeah, it's a bad situation. I just feel lucky that, you know, nobody was hurt, and look at, you know, how close it came to our houses, and that we're, we're just blessed that nothing happened to anybody here and our houses are good and the cars are replaceable. Yeah. 